hello everyone. I'm Keith DeStone and I'm here with Lenny Milner, um, Emeritus Hi. Professor of Classics at Brandeis, Emeritus, lots of things from the Center for Hellenic Studies. And today we're going to talk about the scape viewer. Um, that's uh, a new new feature of Perseus. And first of all, Lenny, am I, am I saying that correctly? Well, Escape. it's eventually going to replace Perseus, right? The current, it's the new, it's the next version of Perseus, if you will, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's still in development, very much so, okay? And nothing in it is, is uh, finished, um, but eventually, eventually the, the old Perseus, which is software that's really aging, and if you've tried to use it lately, you'll notice that it's having trouble because it's not mm -hmm. scaling up well to the increased demand that uh, the uh, quarantining has, has uh, inflicted upon it. <laughs> it crashes right. and right. other things. But um, the newer, newer system will presumably be more robust as well as feature more, more in the way of content. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be great. Yeah. Um, let's see. So this is going to be a little demo, yeah. and I am not all that familiar with it. I have to say, I have to confess that I haven't used it very much. Um, which is ideal, right? But one which is for this kind of the, thing, yes. To the person who hasn't played around with it, you don't want me to do, to show it to you. <laughs> exactly. So I think that I'm sharing my screen now successfully. Yep. Hopefully, yep. I see it beautifully. Yep. And I'm gonna move this window down here. I can see it a little bit better. Uh, now I just see the banner at the top of the window. Are you, does that mean, uh, oh, that, that's better probably for your users, right? Okay, I see. I have two monitors going on here and Zoom doesn't okay. like that. Okay, that gives All the right. biggest view of the screen. Okay, so here we go. This is the, the home page right. of the viewer. Right. And I'm just gonna click browse. Okay, one thing, one thing that, you should can can just on the home page there's a description of what this is about mm -hmm. the scape viewer and recent changes and um it's it's a, it's a moving it's really changing what's in here okay it for example the banner also doesn't say that there are things in other languages besides greek and latin <laughs> and there are mm. right as you know um if you yes. if you read more you'll learn about the relationship between what's in perseus and what's here and they there there are okay. places where they don't overlap in other words there are things that are in perseus that are not here that should be okay so mm -hmm. so this is not a perfect uh, uh substitute okay but for basic works okay. it's something to play with okay mm -hmm. but those so, things will be here eventually exactly exactly okay So browsing gives you a whole list, a giant yep. list. I won't even try to scroll through it all. Yep. Um, so you can do text group is the is a technical term. See, it says text group. Okay. Yeah. CTS URN and work. Okay. You can put in an author's name. Okay. Um, or a title. Those That's... should work. Text group is a technical term for a bunch of of uh, texts that are grouped under a certain uh, a certain um, rubric, okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, the Plato, the Corpus of Plato, or you know, the Corpus of uh, Greek uh, veterinarians, or stuff like that. Okay, so they can include include various things. Okay, um, and that's the default right. view here. Yeah, we're we're the, currently the sorted view by. Here is t that's what those TLG numbers, the single TLG numbers, respond to. So okay. in that list, you don't need to know all that technical mumbo jumbo. Okay, if you, if you, if it freaks you out, don't let it freak you out. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> good. You can I'll just try. deal with authors and titles. Okay. Okay, and I've never actually pressed on this, but if I'm if I press it, on it'll, CTS it'll URN, get, it'll get you a, a very interesting different view because it's doing them alphabetically by those URNs. By these, right? I see. So you right. can see that there are things in Hebrew and Persian and other other languages as well as Greek and Latin. Right. Okay. All right. I'm going back to text group is probably text this. Group. that's the default. Okay. So I wanted to do a little bit of Hebrew and Greek. Okay. If possible. Okay. During this during this um walk through. So I'm going to choose, let's see, let's do Greek first, I suppose. Okay. okay. So I'm going to start typing 
Septuagint. Okay. And okay. I don't even have to type the whole thing. It knows. No, no, exactly. What I'm looking for. So, so, going... so when you what you're seeing there, see you see the the title, and then you see GRC. Okay, that mm -hmm. means that's the the XML name for a Greek. Okay, so it tells you what edition that is if you if you mouse over it. Okay, Greek it's saying to me this is a Greek edition of this work. Yeah, exactly. Okay. If there were other languages available, it would tell you that too. In okay. the Septuagint collection. Right. Exactly. Which there wouldn't be because that's a Greek. Exactly. Collection by default. Yeah. But, I mean, for other works, if they are English and French and German, there are translations in multiple languages in this collection. You would get mm -hmm. a, another little thing for the different language versions that exist. Okay. Mm -hmm. But let's stick with you. Pick with whatever you want. Okay. I think if I, I you do apologize, you see, you've got two Greek. Oh, two Greek versions. Yep. Okay. Well, there, that's Hippolytus. That's that's not the Euripides. Not Hippolytus. the one that I like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So the. No, Euripides, I don't see that one in here. Yeah, it just My got upload, uploaded into the into the GitHub repository last week, and it's not yet up here, but it will be. Okay. Okay. So, so but here I'm hovering over the Trojan yeah, Women. You can see and English and Greek. There's a Greek yep. and, and a, an English and you, edition. And you find out which one it is. Okay. Okay. So let's go back to Septuagint. My favorites here. Okay. Deuteronomy, and here we just have the Greek version available. Right. Okay. So, what are we looking at? Obviously, the text is in the middle. Right. You can you can expand the 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 text. Um, you can on the right hand side. Okay. The top corner mm -hmm. is mumbo jumbo, but when it says right. text mode, let's go through these just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Text mode is normal and highlight. Um, normal is just what you're looking at it if you select this you can copy it and paste it into a document and you'll get what exa exactly what you see if you click okay. highlight it goes into parsing mode okay and mm -hmm. see now down below there there's a highlight uh box that opened up so if you select a word okay. any word in the greek text okay it'll go it'll, it'll appear there okay right and and it doesn't seem to be working, but yes, yeah, yes, below there it tells you what it is. Okay. It okay. gives you its form, okay, and the possible forms, and it gives you a basic definition. Okay. The mm -hmm. word is not especially good definition of logos, okay? And it's not mm -hmm. contextual, it's not a contextual definition. It's just a random one word definition. So one of the one of the big lacks in this current tool is a real robust dictionary. It doesn't have LSJ or mm -hmm. a good good uh, New Testament or um, um, uh, or a, a Koine Greek dictionary, okay? Mm -hmm. right. But that's coming, all right? So for now, just, just glosses, basic glosses. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So go back, scroll back up to the top again, okay? And if you click on normal, okay, I think that's fine. And you can adjust mm -hmm. the size of the text in the next thing. Oh yeah. Okay. And you can make it smaller or bigger depending on how much you want to see. And you can okay. also make the width of the column bigger or smaller. Okay. So you can make it narrower. Now nothing is happening because you don't have enough screen real estate. But for example, uh. if you if you click on the arrow on the left, the left going arrow under the word scale fewer, we'll get you some more room. Okay. Over that go. left column. All right. And then you can adjust the width. Okay. So then you're getting narrower no i don't know or it doesn't seem to be working all seems to be the same maybe i can get a little extra by stretching the window well, that's weird that it's not well, doing it well anyway it should bug, re bug report yeah <laughs> it usually works okay this is this is a part of this experience okay not everything is perfect all right Okay, so here we come to the highlight box again, which we yes. already talked yeah, about. Talk about. And if you, wanna, if you want to click on on text, see what happens to your screen. There's the there's a text, just a plain text version of those lines. Okay. Okay. Um, of exactly what you got. If you hit the back arrow, you'll get back to where you were, and if you hit XML, you get the marked up version. Okay, nice. which is more complicated but that's just mm -hmm. for one line you can you can get it you can export uh, um, I'll show you how a whole section of the work if you want 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, that would be great. All of these things, are, all of the texts are free of copyright and free to you, okay? So you can take mm -hmm. them and do whatever you want with them, okay? Mm -hmm. um, nice. This is an important thing. It's not like the TLG, for example, where you they'll come at you with lawyers and um, stuff like that if you start using their texts, okay? <laughs> Okay, good. All we're right. we're all safe here. <laughs> yes. Okay. So one question about exporting. Um, yeah. Do I have to have the text visible in the the main so window? So it exports what you see. Exports okay. What you see. It okay. Is what the way it works. Okay. So you're only seeing one verse, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a weird thing, but you can change that too. If you go to the arrow, put the arrow back. Yeah, click on that arrow. Okay. okay now the left now, side. This here. is this is a thing that's that's um, annoying to some people. If you want to if you want to move forward and backward in the text, okay. Mm -hmm. There's there's a there's a simple way and a more complicated way. Say you want to see more of this particular context. All right. In other okay. words, what comes after this is the verse one, uh, uh, chapter, chapter one, one verse. So if you if you click in the box where it says passage reference one point one, okay, and then mm -hmm. you type a dash, and then you do one point four, okay, and hit a return, it'll show you the next four verses, okay. Okay, that's All easy. Right? Yeah, that is relatively easy. Okay. The what happens if I choose? Um, too many verses. There aren't a hundred verses in the first it'll chapter. It'll tell you. It'll tell you. Okay, what that it can't resolve, and it can go up okay. to forty-six. Okay. You like that? Oh, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> if you say, you know, if you if you give it a big number, I don't know how many chapters there are in Deuteronomy, but if you say thirty point four, it'll it'll put that whole thing too. Okay. Okay. So in other words, you can you can make the 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 text display as much as you want and then if you do that you say you wanted to get a copy of the text up to chapter 30 verse 4 okay now once it's displayed okay once it's finished I was thinking about it here dotting doing its dots and stuff i'm not sure how many chapters there are and in, in there are 34 okay so we're in safe territory here it's taking too long. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Should we try doing a smaller chunk? <laughs> yeah, let's let's try that. Uh, this page is unresponsive for the oh, moment. It says, let's... it says that it's unresponsive someplace. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was a little kind of pop up. Okay. Oh, so it's so unresponsive that... that I can't even. So you can't scroll on it. All right, so hit the hit the the resource button up there in the left, upper left hand corner of your browser. That one, yeah. Oh, it just uh, oh, it just it brought just... you the whole thing. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. So it was, it was retrieving it all. Okay. There's a lot of text here. There's a lot of text here. Now, for example, if you went to the export button, and you hit export, you'd get this whole thing. Okay, if you went to export text. Right there, okay. it all is. Wow. So that's kind of un unwieldy. Very unwieldy. But but at least it's better than nothing. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is really yeah, interesting. Yeah, this is the the the, the output. Let me, I can report this that the output is really strange. Okay. Mm -hmm. But anyhow. Okay. But I think people can get the idea at least. You get the how, idea. How it ought to work. But that's how that. you can get get a text if you want to work on it on your own machine and at your own pace. Mm -hmm. So now we're going back to the... Yeah. Yeah, you can also play with that, okay? With that, there's the, what you're seeing in your browser uh, URL address there is mm -hmm. that T, there are two TLG numbers. The first is the work group and the second is the work. So zero, TLG 0527 is Septuagint. And TLG zero mm -hmm. zero five is Deuteronomy. Okay, right. so if you do if you do dot if you type it's trying it's retrieving the whole thing again. Oh, the whole thing. In, yeah, if you right. type in dot. Okay, but anyhow, whoops. Dots. One point one. One point one. Point one it'll get just the first. Whoops. You, uh, maybe. Uh, let's let's start this again. Yeah, let's start again, <laughs> and we'll we'll observe. Okay. 
what um yeah okay the, the url is here okay so there's so there's a, some more complicated url for yeah the it, first it looks like so you've got first. highlights that so you need to have a colon after the after the work the work name I it see. looks like as well as op dash grc so uh, that was my mistake. okay so i thought i was but being anyway, smart editing yeah, the, the url it's be but... you're better off using the passage reference thing um um to to change the what you see so you hit a dash mm -hmm. and do 1.4 and then we get the whole of, of uh, those four, there are verses. four verses here okay um um Okay, what else? So that, that was one way to navigate. And I exactly. don't remember whether was that the simpler or the another, complicated way? That's that's a that's a relatively difficult way. There's a simpler way. If you scroll, if you move your mouse over to the right or the left, uh, you'll see an, uh, that's a way oh, to go forward. Okay, I see. Or backwards, if you could go backwards, but since you're the but beginning, work, you can't go backwards. Okay. okay, but if you go forward, you get the next verse. Oh, interesting. So it shows the next group of four. Eight. Yes, exactly. It'll it'll get the the increments that you've set, mm -hmm. which is okay. nice. Okay. So if you don't want to just see one verse, you can say, okay, I want to say four verses or ten verses, and it'll keep on showing you ten verses at a time. Okay. Right. Nice. So be intelligent about that, and you can see how it's how it's displaying where you are if you move the mouse over a little closer. It oh yeah, the chapter and the verse number and the there, verse up there. But that stuff doesn't show up until Unless your cursor is there. Over. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Are we done with things okay. in the right hand so, column? So we, let's let's scroll down a little bit. And so it says in highlight mode, you can select a word to get morphological analysis. This is the same parser that you have in Perseus. It tries to figure out what form a given word is so if you select mm -hmm. a word I'm gonna go back into highlight go back mode into here. highlight mode select some word there okay and then it appears and it tells you what are the three possibilities for it and it gives you a basic glossary definition right. a mountain or hill and it tells you uh, it gives you the number of the frequency of the word per thousand words okay, okay. that's in this in this work in this work yes yeah okay which is kind of cool but and yeah. If you scroll down some more, you can see some more things. Oh, can you? That's all I can in this. All right. Okay. There was more when I didn't have a word highlighted. Yeah. Exactly. So so switch back to normal mode. Okay. So I can't unhighlight. I have to just kind of switch yeah, back. Yeah. You have to switch back. Exactly. Okay. And then then you've got a, the word list and the morphology. I think that's it. Yeah. There aren't any. Um, uh, there aren't more things here. Uh, somehow the yeah. last uh, word was is still. Um, it's still showing up as. Just uh, as if we're focusing on, as if we still have Oros highlighted. Huh. Let's see. Can you scroll back to it? It 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 separates it out. But once you switch out of highlight mode, it should go back to being regular in regular mode. In other words, formatted correctly. Right. No, I, I don't see now, that happening. Now something funny is happening. Try sourcing it again. This is weird. Try hitting the yeah. There you this, go. This thing. Yeah. No, yeah. Or the or the the button in the upper left hand corner. The ring. The 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 circular arrow up above there. That one. Oh, I see. Right. See if you can get it again. Okay. Um, now we have the whole word list. Yeah. For yeah, these the four verses. List. Okay. Great. Yep. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, so there's, that's that's nice to have. It's basic gives, definitions, but it's helpful, right? So and dictionary forms for for the whole glosses the, and yep. frequencies. Yep, exactly. Okay. Nice. Okay, great. Okay, so you you actually can use this interface to read. Okay, mm -hmm. um, and and kind of basic ways. All right. Okay, so I know with the old Perseus, um, yep. you would double click or even just single click on a word, and it would be yep. hyperlinked to this kind of parsing information right but here you use highlight mode you use highlight mode because you have a way of, of being able to have just a plain text view so you can select and copy a text mm -hmm. without getting if you copy a text in highlight mode you'll get a lot of more information along with it do you know what i mean okay. yeah, then you want okay you'll get a lot of junk okay um 
let's see what else it, there's a text search over on the left okay mm -hmm. and when okay. you're text search inside a work it searches only inside a work okay so for example uh, if you you can copy and paste a word in there or type something in greek you don't have to type with accents okay but you should you should use a greek font just because oh, okay it's safer okay let's so see type, type a word We'll use a very common one. Okay, so it's going to find. Actually, you know, that's going to be a, a too long. <laughs> yeah, there's too, too many. many. Yes. Okay, it's going to. So it's going to tr try something else. Let's see. How about river? Yeah, you don't have to have accents, huh? So um, they, if you you're giving that form, it, it's not showing. See, if, see, there's a little button to the right of form. It should say lemma there but that'll oh, okay. find all the forms of it, it okay if you type patamas it'll only find the nominative singular masculine form okay oh, okay so but that, there that it'll was, find all the it doesn't occur form. that doesn't occur in your text this okay? form. Right. but if you hit this one the lemma you'll get the two uh the two chapter and verses where it does occur if you click mm -hmm. on that on those okay it'll take you to them and highlight them okay word. okay nice and vice versa and you have it twice right okay so how about okay. if i want to go back to the text i was in okay um, so so now you probably hit the arrow up in the left to get back up there and the, this one up here no no not that one but that one in your in your browser oh the, the actual browser. back button yeah i think that'll right. do it keep going there okay here yeah. we are back at verses five through eight of chapter one yeah Okay. Um, Here's a question. Yep, go ahead. Actually, um, what if I wanted to look at Hebrew alongside this? Could I juxtapose two so, editions? So you need more room on your screen, but you can do that, okay? Okay, hit let the, me... Hit the arrow, yeah, make it smaller. Okay, that's... Let's see if that's it's... small enough. Yeah. Hopefully people can still see this, but... Yeah. All right, so let's hope yeah. this works. What yeah. should I do to add a column? you should be able to have something come up let's see hold on i'm not sure why it isn't give me a give me a second let me look on mine but it should ask you if you want to add another column i'm not sure why it isn't give me a sec mm -hmm. sure i'll play around here I think I think it will only uh, um, prompt you if there's another version of the same text that it knows is a translation. Okay. Oh, okay. So unless you have a secondary, uh, I'll show you how this works with something else. But I think okay. you can't bring up um, a th another text that it doesn't know from its encoding that it belongs to the same work. Okay. Group. So even though there is a Hebrew version of Deuteronomy in here. Yes. Yeah, you the viewer to, itself is not aware yet. Yeah, that's that's, that that's an text. important thing. Okay, that, let me write that down too. Okay, mm -hmm. and show random parallel version, <laughs> which would be a good thing to do. I mean, the the idea I think is that of, of the way it works. Uh, yeah, there's there's the Hebrew Bible version. There's the Hebrew one. There and there's there's actually. A, there's a continental and a pointed one, right? Yeah, so no vowels. Oops. Yep. And the pointed one has the vowels, right? Right, exactly. And there okay. you can add a parallel version, which is the one without the vowels. You see where it says add oh, a parallel version? Right. Here's the prompt. So yeah, exactly. So it allow gives you me this the consonantal text, okay, if you for for, for reference, okay. and it's aligned. Do you see that's the idea is that it's it, it has texts when it has translations it tries to align the greek and the english or whatever mm -hmm. parallel text you have right. so it's a parallel text alignment that it's doing not just any random one okay mm -hmm. okay um but if you had a translation it would try and align the verses and the chapters and stuff like that mm -hmm. i'm just wondering here about um Text search is text only search. working for Greek. It's only working for Greek. Okay, well right. then I won't go there. Yeah. 
Not yet. So, so we can we can ask them. I mean, in theory, I don't know why it can't. Okay, um, it should, because it's all Unicode. Why isn't it doing it? But um, it'll it can't do lemmas for Greek, but it can't. It should be able to do a form. Yeah. Oh yeah. There. Oh, it here goes. we go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. okay. Great. Yeah. So I don't think it, can, it can't do a lemma. I don't think because doesn't it do the doesn't lemma. understand the the grammar of Hebrew. Okay, yeah. but specific forms it will it will look up yeah. for you. Yes, but there you go. That's nice, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, interesting how it does the the definite article here uh -huh. is separated because it's I mean a separate word, right? Um, from the noun it's attached to. But here is you can see. Is that a reasonable thing? Is the backslash there a spurious character, or is it um, something? It's it's a little weird to look at. I have to <laughs> I have to say. It's not a Hebrew character. That's it's not a Hebrew mean. character, right? So it shouldn't really be there. Right? Um, it shouldn't. No, yeah, I wonder how it deals wrong, with wrong. Yeah. other kinds of add-ons. Say to have them. For, the, it's separating the pronominal suffixes, or yeah, the the for it's doing the vowels and the uh, and the other things like that, right? Mm hmm. Oh, let's see. What's a good passage? I can, oh, I'm still in Hebrew, aren't I? Going through. This should get us some interesting things here to look at. So this slash appears to set off a definite article, to set off, as you said, the, the vows, yeah. the ands. Um, here it sets off the noun. Right. From the um, pronominal suffix, so my okay. mouth. Yeah. Interesting. Weird. Let's see. How about verbs? Verbal prefixes is this a, and is suffixes. This a feature, or it looks like it thinks it's doing a good thing by as part of the pointing of the text. Is that is that not true? Um, Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never before? seen anything like it, and. The, <laughs> That's interesting. I don't find it helpful. To me, it looks okay. like it's trying to divide lines of poetry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah. it's a, it's a backslash and not a slash, which is right. the usual thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. All right. Interesting. But anyhow, yeah. So parallel versions, though, we learned that as long as the viewer knows that there's a parallel. Yes. It can add it. So if I wanted to get rid of one of these, you just do that and say remove column. Okay. There Easy enough. And you can go backwards and forwards. Oh yeah. Right? And you can search. Mm -hmm. And it'll search within. Now, now up on top there are ancestors and children. Do you see it? Oh, I do. Yeah. If you click on children, okay, click on one of the numbers there. There are links. Okay, so that'll get you verse six. Okay. Or, or word six. Word six in of, verse 32. Okay, it looks like rather than verse. Okay. If right. you go up to ancestors, it will give you the whole verse. It looks the whole chapter. Whole chapter. Yep. And it has so, so, 52 verses. Yep. So, so we'll click on one of the I'll verses. I'll give you a, a, an individual verse. And then this verse has eight words. Yep. So you can get any one of the words highlighted. So right. you see, this has to do with the way the markup is set up and the structure, the, the structured markup. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the second on, word. On how the, you know, Interesting. Yeah, so it knows this is one word, yes. but it still divides the two yep. elements. Yep. So the, if you look on the CTS URN, okay, you can see that that, that is a way to reference that one word. Okay, it's wow. got verse 35 too. This is part of the beauty of the system. So it's ancient Jewish literature, Hebrew Bible, Deuteronomy, Leningrad version, codex. Pointed, and then 32, Pointed 5, version. and the second word, right? It's pretty precise. Yeah. Let's Anytime. see. It doesn't have, let's see. Oh, I'm not in highlight mode. So now yes. I'm in highlight mode. Click on yeah. the first word there. It so it doesn't, it doesn't have parsing it information. It doesn't have parsing information for Greek, for Hebrew. That's right. Not yet. Alas. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see. So we've done parallel versions. Are there any other? We've done some searching. We've seen how we can navigate within a text. 
um, you've learned about highlight a normal mode, mm -hmm. exporting passages, um, changing the width of the screen. Okay, you can mm -hmm. make either the right or the left side column disappear. Okay, take mm -hmm. you don't have right enough real these. estate. Yep. Right. Exactly. Yep. Um, and how the children and the ancestors work varies from text to text. Okay, depends mm -hmm. on how the markup is made. So. It might be fun to look at another text and see how that works, like a, a Plato or Homer or something. Um, so you could see how you can navigate around. Um, yeah, pick something. Plato. Oh, let's do this one. Okay. Doesn't matter. We want the Greek one. Yep. Okay. All right. So but here. Um, yep. Um, so. So I don't see that option right away. Yeah. The, the ancestor children. Children. If you if you move forward in the text, if you hit the arrow forward arrow, let's see, do we get a interesting? Why is it not showing up there? Let's see. Hmm. What did I do last time? I'm gonna think to if we if we Yes, in Plato, I think the Plato, the only, there isn't, a, there, what you see is what you've got, okay? There isn't an, any, any additional structure, okay? And that's okay. why. If we did, for example, books of Homer, okay, or the Republic, here's the Republic, which has books, okay? Okay, let's do that. I bet we could, we would be able to see something different. Yeah, see there, there you've go. got the ancestors, right? <laughs> you see? Okay. So, so you've got one, one, three, twenty-seven. Okay, this is book one. You can you can uh, um you can if you click on the one, you'll get the whole of book one. And it's gonna take it a while. Depends. But there you are, and there are the different sections okay. of it. Do you see? see? Right. Okay. But for example, if you just have a, had a poem that consists only of 50 lines, you would have no children, right? Mm -hmm. no right, ancestors. it doesn't have specific line exactly. versification. It has a, it, it's only a one level structure, okay? Right. Um, okay. Can Let's we, see, what other you challenges? Wanna see, you, wanna, you wanna try the text search stuff a little bit? Should we look at that for a bit? Yeah. Where should That's I go to find that? Up in the top where your mouse is there, you have a oh. choice between browse library and text search. It's there on every page, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, so you can search the whole corpus, okay? <laughs> All right, Lenny, what's your favorite Greek word? Uh, I, I don't know, let's, let's do something. Uh, <laughs> Unfair, I know. Okay. Let's do let's let's show a lemmatized search of a word that's not that common, like, uh, um, um, uh, and Apple. E, have you got a Greek font? Epsilon, two news, epsilon, pi, omega. Okay, and now click on lemma. Okay, because in order to get a lemmatized search, you have to put in the form, the first person singular of the present of a verb, for example, the root form, or of a mm -hmm. noun, the nominative singular, of an adjective, the nominative singular, masculine, and so forth. Okay. So mm -hmm. th these are only for inflected words, obviously. Okay, you can't, if it's an uninflected word, it doesn't matter, okay? But mm -hmm. now hit a return and let's see what we get. Doesn't like that lemma. Not interesting. Try, try one new, delete one N, okay? It's taking longer to think about this, which is promising. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, 166. So, so this is getting you um, um, interesting combinations of things. Okay. So, so this is just so you see what the how the search works. You've got 17 pages of results. That was pretty fast. I went through the whole corpus. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
How many words? It's millions there. of words. Yes, lots of words, right? And you can see, you can see on the left, uh, you, ha you hit see all, there's a scrolling list of all of the things there, right? So these are all the, all the, right, the authors, sources or text groups even. All the text groups that have. So, so 18 times in Sophocles, but yes. which works in Sophocles, doesn't tell you that right away. No, it'll show them to you but now, where you are, right? And it'll tell you that you're Kenny I and that Epis Rex and so forth and so on, mm -hmm. okay? And so it gets, there are the forms, the forms with, with two if, new. if it's a lemma. Yeah. So the, the lemma, the, the form with new, two news is a metrical lengthened form. So that's why it couldn't find them. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we told it to look for an epo as a form, it would have found it. Okay. Mm -hmm. For right. example, that form, that, that, that version of the Oedipus. So let me clear the yeah, Sophocles clear. selection. Okay. So and... here's another thing that you can do. Okay. Just with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, you get back to the whole long list, all right? And, and if you click on, on any one of those things that are in highlight mode, like the, the title of Pindar Scolia, okay? It'll take you to the scolion that has this discussion, okay, of this word mm -hmm. and says that an ipton means legon, mm -hmm. okay? And okay. there are various, that's the textual uh, commentary, uh, uh, commentary on the text, okay? Mm -hmm. of, of uh, something in a note of Pindar. Nice. So um, I'll go back. Yeah, if you go back up there, that. yep. It takes you to your list. So you can scroll and you can get the whole list for any of the work groups. How about this, this passages yeah. versus instances? Okay, go see what happens. Okay, you just get the list of the places. Okay. Oh, okay, Without so just the, the text. Just the titles, as it were. Just the titles, yes. Just exactly. list of titles. Not okay. sure that's very useful, but that's always nice to be able to see, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps you see in a more condensed fashion. Yeah, but I you can say. see what you've got. The 166 titles have this word. Okay. All, all right, right, so how about these? these all right, so, uh, so let's, let's try one. Put your cursor at the end of the word in the blank there and delete the, the omega and type in an asterisk. You probably have to change fonts. Yeah, back to English here. Okay, so, so that says, it, see it says asterisk at the end of a term signifies a prefix query. So it, it'll find any word that has those four letters at the beginning, okay? Okay. But all kinds of things at the end, all right? So you wanna, okay. you, 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 I, I'm not sure what happens if you do lemma I think it'll only do form in this mode, but let's see what happens. All right. So I've got some, yeah, some results for us here. That's weird. So interesting. Yeah, I don't think it made any, it, it got to an if you go to If you go to form, you get something that's more interesting. Okay, this is just, that's just finding all the forms of an epo. But if you do this, mm -hmm. where it's look, it's just going to get those letters and anything, any example of a word that has that comes after it. Let's see what we okay. get. Wow, a lot more. Yeah, this is well. There you go. Anep impronta, and anep implanta, and so forth right. and so on. Lots of different words, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Lots of different words. But you could see and that so... there are places where that might be useful. Okay. When you're not, when, for example, you're looking for an inflection of a particular word and you're not sure which one it is or stuff like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, they're variant spellings. Yep, so that's, that's the star thing, okay? Um, the, the, the um, let's see, if you do, um, if you switch, change the asterisk, okay, mm -hmm. to a tilde, okay? Mm -hmm. For a single word, see what it says, tilde with a number after a phrase signifies slop amount. That means how many spaces there are, but how many different words can be between the words. And after a word, it okay. signifies edit distance. This is what's called elastic search, okay? Okay. So if you, you can put in zero, one, or two, okay? If you put in one, You'll get you get a certain like that. You'll get a certain uh, a smaller a restricted number of words that that with various things uh, ver uh, uh, with various 
uh, combinations of those letters, not be, it'll be pretty close to what you get, but let's show you what happens now. Switch to instances so we can see them. So there's that. But then you get Henneke as well as, so you've substituted for the pi, a kappa. Do you understand? Ah, oh, so this okay. formula says one of these letters can be you, different. You can switch out one of the letters. Keep scrolling. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay. And up, okay, and, up. and, and F so the, with a fee, okay. Do you like okay. that? <laughs> you get I don't the know idea. How, I don't know yet how I would use it, but well, yeah, it's good to know about though, because there are situations in which it comes in handy. I, I I've done one recently even, okay. But there you're going to get more variations, and mm -hmm. now you're going to get an up and F and F. And if that, that's okay. it, sooner or later you get more variations on the two 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 words two letters. So I can only go up to two in this yeah, case. You got exactly it's zero, one, or two. Okay. Okay, and zero would be the same as. I think it's it's you, no variation. It'd be like yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, so how about a phrase? Yeah, is there a phrase uh, that that comes to mind? Oh, I don't know. I, I see a phrase right here. Okay, then I'm gonna paste it in. Okay, paste it in and tilde. Yep. And you can, and that'll give you if you say if you say slop amount, it means how many words you allow there to be between between the two uh, the two words that you've got. Okay, so so the search will find these two words that are separated by, by zero, no words, one, zero, one word one or two, two words. Yeah, I think that that's what it should do. That was a pretty quick search yeah, but for 7,000 like results. It's getting more. Oh, it's this, getting... I guess, counts as one word. Yeah, and two, but up above, yeah, I guess it's got esti de, okay. If you, between esti and de, there are two words, right? But keep on going down. It's, it's, it's selecting things that are confusing the quality of the search, but it doesn't oh, seem to be working perfectly. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's getting de, sti and sti de. But th this search is fast. Okay, this is one of the virtues of it. You can look for little words too, which is very tricky in Greek and sometimes very important, right? Like looking at particles and mm -hmm. it'll really find right. all the examples. You don't have to wait forever. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, but the other thing that you can do, uh, okay, so that's that's slop amount. Um, precedence, I don't know how the precedence works, but that's something to play with. The other, the other um, things on the left-hand side, the and, if you put, if you get rid of the tilde and the two, okay, mm -hmm. and you put in a plus sign between esti and de, no, between the two words, okay, it means just those two, so see what happens. Okay. So these two words appearing anywhere within a text. Yep. A within delimitation a certain, of text. Yeah, exactly. So it's pretty broad and it's a very broad search. So yeah, if you need yep. more than um, two um, words between them, I guess you could yeah, use this you one. could you could put a tilde in a z and you might be able to put a tilde and a zero there. See what happens if you, if you, at the end you put a tilde and a zero. What do we get then? Doesn't look like it's mm. working. Yeah, I would expect results like this. Yeah, exactly. I it doesn't down, seem right to be to working other. well. All right. Try, try removing the plus sign and just leaving a space there. Still the same. Hmm. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it seems imperfect. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Um, All right, good to know. Yeah, and an or, you understand that. If you, you can- I'll find you can, one or the other. Yeah, find one or the other, and you can have a string with, with some words that are or'd and some words that are and, okay? In other words, you could have three oh. words and one, two of them would be or. You could have, 
SI with that or men, for example. Do you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So this has found passages with both in some cases. Yes. It seems to be doing the same no, thing over and over again, but way meant, this is a lot. Right. Well, how about the the or? Yeah. So Estai and the the or mess. Where's my Greek? You don't need to put in accents, okay? Your your example has it. So Good, because okay, I don't see what Yep, let's see what know we those get. very well. Yeah. It's tricky because if using, it's better to avoid apostrophes and accents because they, they, sometimes the people's uh, fawns do funny things with them. Well, there you've got mm -hmm. men, esti, and de uh, esti. Mm -hmm. So it's, men, esti, it's adding, yeah. adding men to the mix yeah. here. Yeah. In this case, we have passages that have Estimate. Occurrences of both, yep, as exactly. it happens. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's see. Negates a single token. So if we, if we say you don't, don't want, want a certain word, we would yeah. just kind of add that in here and say exactly. You don't want ooh. <laughs> okay. Right. Because you got ook there. Say without ook. See if it makes the first example. I think that I think you need to have it be closer to the uh, there. Okay, now let's yeah. see what happens if it. See that we don't get the first one we had before. Right. Good. 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 That works. And okay. The quotation marks. Yeah, okay. I think. Yeah, that's that. That's, that's pretty that's useful. intuitive. It tells you what goes together, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want an exact phrase. Phrase exactly. So if we wanted just to see s i d we put quote the space and then the quotes around the two of them and it would just get only those two words next to each other. That's the way to do that. Let's see how this goes. There you go. Here we go, this one's working well. Yeah, all right. So it's, Great. it's really, um, here's one last thing that you can do, which I, I find extremely useful. Mm -hmm. You can do a lemmatized search for a couple of words, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, if you do, if you type in laos, L-A-O-S, and then, oh, and then the verb ago, okay, space uh, the verb ago, and you hit the lemma button, okay, um, it'll find all the examples of these two words next to each other or within a certain distance of each other, okay? In, in Greek, right? This is interesting. Mm. Do you see so what? this is... All the forms of ago and all the forms of laos in combination with one another. There's the aorist right. participle, the imperfect of ago, and the accusative, the nominative, and so forth of laos, but in, in the vicinity of each other in a phrase, okay? Mm -hmm. So with that respect to distance or which one comes yeah, first. Exactly, okay. That can be, that can be very, very interesting. Useful. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the, the lemmatized part of it is helpful as well as the co collocation of the words, right? Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Yeah, that's, hmm. that's a great tool. Yeah. Let's see, what else? Um, yeah, I, I, I think we oh, covered it. That, covered that might be much all of it. Yeah. A good basic introduction to this. Yeah. Yeah. And we've okay. generated a few, generate some feedback for you to pass yes, along. Yes, exactly. And I, I'm going to I'm going to ask him about the the way in which the slop amount isn't working. Okay. Mm -hmm. ask, find out what's going on with that. All right. <laughs> We were able to reduce the amount of, of words that were coming up in between the words we were co-locating. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks so much. That was but, very helpful. Uh, it's worth it's worth playing with. I mean, not just the search facility in itself can be helpful, but it, it I think it's a nice tool for reading. If if you've if you've got texts um, um, 
that are that you're relatively familiar with and and you can generating those word lists also you can do that in Perseus but you have to go through some some complicated things and you can probably uh, to, to get them mm -hmm. so that's but that's useful for the word students. list you mean like in the lower right hand corner exactly exactly so you could All give right. a give somebody a, a, a piece of text, here's a list of the words in it, here's what they mean, and then it'll even tell you what their forms are. So you can, you can, you can That's piece together teaching. stuff if you don't know what you're talking about, right? And if you're mm -hmm. just learning, right? Right, yeah, okay. exactly. All right. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks so much. My pleasure.